What's up, guys and gals? Welcome back to the Nerd Castle. It's time for the Long Dark. Happy to have you here today. Welcome on back. In the previous episode, we just done a little bit of traveling. We honestly haven't been moving around a whole lot. It's been a fairly simple adventure so far. Things have gone mostly according to plan? I mean, I think weight allotment is the biggest thing right now that keeps getting me, is it's just that we can only carry so much. So... Oh, I can make it. Okay, I didn't know I could do anything with the door right there. That's cool. I learned a thing today. We already went through all the loot that's inside this place. I don't think we're going to really... Ooh, hey, lantern fuel. Yay. We do need a lot of that in order to, like, win der game, so we'll keep an eye on that. But yeah, we are at the whaling place right now, having a whale of a time, trying to keep myself in line and not get dined upon by some weird swine. They're not swine, they're actually dogs, but I just wanted the rhyme to work. The rhyme scheme had to function properly. Otherwise, see? I don't know. Sometimes it's just... Do you rhyme, Nerd Castle? Do you rhyme? Or do you just let it go? Do you let it all fall away? You know? What do you do? I feel like it's always in your best interest just to, like, throw out some rhymes. Kind of let it happen. Let it fly out there. Just rhyme it on up. You got the time for it. And you got the will for it. And you got the skill for it. And you can pay the bills for it. Man, you gotta do what you gotta do. I am going to take out a light source because it's too dark in here. And I don't like stubbing my toes on pointy objects. I swear to God. Moving through, like, dark areas where there's things on the floor, it's the worst. Those of you who have kids know what I'm talking about. I don't have kids, but I have a puppy, and he leaves shit all over the place, and so it's just like, Arr. clean up your toys, you goddamn kids. Oh, there was a first aid box over here. I know they're going to hit me up with like 20 gallons of kerosene on this map, and I'm going to spend the rest of my time trying to figure out how the hell I get it back to the garage. Don't want the antiseptic. Don't want the antiseptic at all. I've got better solutions than that, and it weighs too much. It weighs far too much. It weighs way too much. There. I didn't want to make it a complicated sense, but you know what? I'm going to go in on it, because why not? There's a sport vest right there. There's a woolen ear wrap. Okay. I need to drop something. The only person I've ever seen wear a woolen ear wrap... Ooh, a whetstone. The only person I've ever seen wear one of those ear wraps... And granted, I don't live in a place where it gets... It gets below freezing, but it's not that cold. The only people that used to wear those were like... Girls on the track team back in high school or like cheerleaders. That's where I remember those from whether or not that's an Whether or not that's an appropriate place. Oh, I'm gonna eat the moldy food and something bad's gonna happen Yay, I lived I mean, how does it go moldy though? It's beef jerky That's the thing is like that's why we invented beef jerky is because it lasts forever Like you can just throw it under the saddle and go Hmm I think some objects should be immune to rotting. Like, really anything in a can, basically. I mean, I guess you could grade the object based on the quality of the can and how good a shape the can is in. But for things like beef jerky, I'd be like, how does that rot, though? Like, we're basically in a refrigerated environment. On top of that, beef jerky is not known for getting moldy and rotty. I, for whatever reason, I think it's maybe... I'm not sure how it works. I don't know the science. I haven't verified. Ooh, I did bring a crowbar with me, so this will work. Maybe we'll find more bullets. No. Fine, then. Um, don't really want the t-shirt. I don't think it's going to help us out that much right now. Don't think a t-shirt is really appropriate clothing for this kind of weather. I think that's the sort of thing that might make our nipples fall off in the cold. And I tend to direct myself towards activities that do not result in the falling off of nipples. I, I like mine. They serve no function, they're pointless, they're completely, it's just like, why do I have these? But at the same time, that doesn't mean that I want them to fall off, you know? I mean, if I had to pick between, like, my dick and my nipples, obviously I go with the nipples. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta prioritize. You gotta have kind of like a mental triage of the parts of your body you're willing to sacrifice versus the ones you're not. Now, like, I'd lose a hand, an arm, a leg. Hell, I'd lose a leg from the hip before, you know, I'd, I'd lose that. It's just that thing is very, very, very high on the list. Very high on the list. It's probably near the top. Could end up being useful. I I don't think it's gonna be useful. A fishing line is very useful though. I'll take that. Ooh, another bullet over here. Or no, never mind. It's an emergency stim. Damn it! All I want is bullets, and I keep finding drugs. 
drugs in a survival situation just it seems like something you should probably not do in a wolf infested environment I'm like hey you want to uh, do some drugs I'm like no there's wolves and bears and shit everywhere this seems like a bad plan there's cliffs there's sharp objects I'm carrying a gun no I definitely don't want to do drugs right now this is a bad plan this is called the horrible trajectory of my life we should not do this this file cabinet just being a disappointment right now yeah, I'll take the sewing kit. It doesn't weigh much. Although I doubt we'll be playing long enough to utilize all these sewing kits that I have. Ooh, coffee. Yay. Okay, so we went through all of that. My next thing... Oh, we gotta drink some water. Let's drink some water then. I have two rifle cleaning kits, really. Okay. Cool. With the whetstone, I can either use that on my axe or I can use that on my knife. What kind of shape is my knife in? 87%. Okay. Here, holster that, turn it off. And we're going to use the cleaning kits on the gun. Just to make sure that it's in better shape. So I select you. Our cleaning skills should go up from this. Take us about 15 minutes just to get this thing. Apparently, I've got multiples. Hooray. Keep on doing it then. Oh, the rifle kit's a multiple-use thing? Well, shit, now I just feel like a dolt. Now I just feel like an idiot. I mean, we're gonna get this gun back up into ship shape, though. Kind of makes you wonder how that would work, a gun that's in the shape of, like, a ship. I'd like to imagine my gun would look kind of like a frigate, maybe. Have little guys with flutes on it. Just, like, jamming out, ready to go, just rocking it, just being like, yeah, get it! Doing, like, a little sidestep, two-step dance while they're playing their fife. Getting down, playing the fife of their life. Yeah. I just want to clean my gun. I will eat some food while we're here. I'm, I'm very concerned that I'm not going to have a lot of food left by the time I get back to the garage. So is there any kind of... Let's light the match off here. Is there like a mattress or something around here that I can sleep on till morning? I've got my bedroll with me, but... Yeah, there you go. Got an hour of daylight left. Well, we might as well clean the gun some more while we wait for... I like how the condition of the gun gets better, too. Like, the actual picture, the texture of the gun itself, I like how it gets better as you repair stuff. That shows care. I like that. That's a feature that I very much like. I'd add... Just as a, as a caveat here for the cleaning, I would add something like when you go clean and then you pick one of these, maybe a little tab that says clean until gone. Basically, you just keep cleaning. That way you don't have to keep clicking over and over and over again. That way if you just wanted to, like if you've got a busted ass weapon like I do and you wanted to repair it like 13 times in a row, you can just click that one time. It'll take the meter long to fill, longer to fill up and time will just go by like it does when you're drinking water or anything else. Cool. I was not expecting this to be nearly that effective. But, I mean, we've cleaned the shit out of this gun. We spent all day basically trying to get this gun taken care of. But if there's one thing in a survival situation you want to be in good shape, I would say it would be the means by which you acquire food and the means by which you protect yourself. Ain't no scrimping when it comes to something like that. And look at that. It's perfectly divisible by four. Man, I love my life right now. What a great day. What a great day. So there it is. We cleaned our gun for like five hours. And now it is a perfectly in shape firearm. I will take perfectly shaped firearm back out. We will slot another round in there. We'll find the bed. We're not that tired. I doubt we'll make it through the night, but I'll give it a go. I think 10 hours is going to be a bit of an overshot. We'll probably wake up before it's light out, though. Yeah, I was going to say 8 hours felt about right for where, for where our meter was at. Drink some tea. I'd prefer to use the resources first that aren't that important to me before I start using the other ones. We will also drink some of these sodas. Sehr gut. As far as rifle cleaning goes, I don't think I'm going to need to carry around all the scrap metal with me. That just seems like unnecessary weight. I will drop that. Considering the game actually has a win criteria right now, pack ratting doesn't seem like that great of a strategy. It just doesn't seem like it's going to benefit us that much. There you go. 
eat the sardines in a can. Very nice. It's only got 53 calories left inside of it, but hey. We do what we do when we do it. All right, Lantern. Let's put this metal table over here. What I'm looking for right now is going to largely be relegated to firearms and food. Firearms, rounds, and food. Don't want the scrap metal. I will take the matches, sure. Nothing in between right there. I don't think there's ever a wolf in that room, as far as I know. And that's just me metagaming super hard. What is that right there? Oh, there's another hunting rifle over here. You know, I would take it just to clean it and level up my cleaning skill. That's what I would lean towards. I would say, hey. Doesn't seem like a bad, bad idea. I mean, it doesn't level it up very much. But, dude, I wish I could find a cache of bullets like that. You see the picture back there? Look at that. This dude is locked and loaded. Look at that shit. He's got like four boxes of ammo and just random rounds laying around. This dude is a survival champ. He's making me look like a survival chump. Here I am out here scripting and saving with my six bullets. Just being like, please don't force me to fire any more rounds. Running away from everything that looks at me funny. And it's not like I can't handle the situation. It's not like I can't do what it do, nerd castle. Because we'll throw down. We'll get real. It'll get hyped in here. We will get so hyphy. But at the same time, ooh, hacksaw? I don't think I need the hacksaw, strangely enough. Cedar firewood. I was going to say, sometimes there's a safe back here. Might be worth looking into. Got to breathe through my mouth and focus really hard when I do this, otherwise I mess it up. So it's 44. We apparently enjoyed a career as a burglar before this. We have mafia applicable skills. We're that guy you call when you need a heist. I'm like, oh, somebody fix our janky ass drill that keeps breaking. So it was 44, 54. Let's not drop this on the five. There we go. 44, 54, 21. Doesn't matter. It's open now. An expedition parka. Might be worth taking a look at. That MRE account is a major, major, major deposit. If we can put that inside of our, our food stuff, so I think that'll help out a lot because I think the MRE gives you like 3,500 calories or something ridiculous. It's a lot. Now, this room can be a tad sketchy because, not that it's dangerous or anything like that, but it can be very, very easy to miss loot in here because it's in every nook and cranny. There's like something laying around. So just be careful about it with the expedition parka. Let me have a let me have a little look at that right there. The expedition park, uh, it takes two to repair it. Okay, I might give that some thought. It doesn't require any leather, which is always great. Candy bar right there. Candy bars. Uh, oh, there's a a crate back there. How do I get after that? Oh, that's going to bug me. Oh, I want it. It's right there. How do I get it? Oh, that's annoying. I want that so bad. There's even more kerosene for our little adventure here. Fish hook right there, which actually we need to get to fishing. I think that's probably why fish hooks are not that common in this gameplay mode. Is because I think... Whoever designed the challenge latched on real quick and was like, you know, you could just sit around fishing for like half of this playthrough. And that would be the easiest way to get the food supply taken care of. I mean, you catch like seven or eight bass and you're pretty much done. Not exactly the most entertaining way to win, but it is a viable strategy. 
with fish hooks and string. I think we could do some real work in here. Nothing inside of there. This has actually been kind of a disappointment. As well as everything else is gone, this room has been a letdown, but there's still more. A lot of people actually don't know about this over here, so I'm going to go ahead and show you. If you come around this way... Just looking for cloth or anything else that might be useful because I actually I think that expedition parker will probably be better than what we have going on. I'm interested in fixing that to the best of my abilities right about now. Watch the floor space. That had metal inside of it that I didn't want. Sorry, I'm looking into looking into options for what I want to do at the moment to get that parka back up and running. Okay, so there's a sweater. That'll help out. I mean, it all comes down to my shabby ass. Like, I seriously, I have terrible, terrible repair skills right now. So it really comes down to RNG whether or not I'm going to be able to do it. But you can walk along this walkway up here. And if you drop like so, you can walk down that pipe. I think you can also come up the pipe that way, but I never do. I always come through this way because it seems safer to me. But there's a dead guy up here. Sometimes he has a hatchet. Sometimes he has what looks like a flare. I've seen a gun up here before. I've seen a number of things. Wool socks, yeah, sure. Summit soda, accelerant. Man, this dead guy's being useful to me. How's our weight looking? It's got to be bad. It's got to be getting closer to just trashed here. Drink that just to get ourselves evened off. As far as the whetstones go... We have a lot of lantern fuel right now. I don't think I have to worry too much about it. Here, turn that off. We'll do our repairs right now, just so I don't have to forestall and wonder. So there it is. We harvested that. We've got three cloth on us. That'll give us at least a couple attempts at repairing that jacket. I can't guarantee that either one of them is going to succeed, but it'll give us a shot. It'll give us a go. Nah. Hey, there it is. We actually succeeded. So that's going to take it back up to 68%, but it's still in a little bit of rough shape. My thing is, if that actually provides the same amount... If it provides the same amount of protection... Let's just spitball here as, like, several pieces of my other equipment. I can take those off and save the weight and just wear this. It might hurt my resistances slightly, but at the end of the day, it'll probably be okay. Was there any reason to go down the pipe right here? That's just a broken chain link. I did miss a little crafting area over here. And I would actually be kind of mad at myself if I went through here and found, like, a bullet or something. I mean, at the end of the day, it didn't matter. There was no bullet. There was nothing distinctively interesting in there, but sometimes it's worth looking. There is some firewood on this side in the case that we end up needing it. Lots of cinder blocks, too. Why do they call them cinder blocks? I never really understood that, that designation, a cinder block. I assume at some point they must have had to do with fire or something, but the only time you ever see cinder blocks now is to like weigh things down or like put a car up real fast or whatever. Cinder blocks. What's the origin of that? I may have to Google that tonight just to find out. Otherwise, it's going to bother me. You can Google it too. So if you're wondering what this stuff is for, this lets you chop up these little everything made out of metal. The hammer is so you can do blacksmithing and make arrows. Pry bar, you guys have already been exposed to, so you know what the pry bar does. Actually, if I have scrap metal, I can make hooks, though. Hold on. And I think I can do it at this workbench. 
Yeah, craft that. We're gonna. I gotta convert all this over to old man's beard as well. That'll make it simpler too, so that you're combining two items into one item. Technically, these things right now are having. They're doing the item loving. They're making the item loving. Whack, 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 wow, whack, wow. Because two became one. Two items have come together today in front of their family and friends because they like to be awkward like that. That was the weird thing about my wedding when I got married is it was just kind of like odd being the center of attention all day. It's not something I'm used to. I'm the kind of person that like when it's my birthday, I don't like it when people like give me presents and say happy birthday and stuff. It just makes me feel... Or, like, sing songs or whatever. It makes me feel awkward. I don't like being the center of attention. I like to fly below the radar. Which, I know what you're saying. That makes no sense at all, given what you do on the internet right now. But I'm like, it's different. Trust me, it's different. There was more metal up here. I'm going to turn it all into hooks. Hooks, hooks, give us the hooks. You knew I was going to do that. It had to happen at least one time. Give me a cardboard match, too, so I can see where I'm going. I don't want to bump my dick on anything. There we go. Bear skin bedroll, probably not even going to bother with a lot of the crafting things. In a different gameplay setting, like, yeah, I could see myself spending and focusing a whole bunch of time on making, like, bear skin bedrolls and stuff. So that I have, like, variable things that I can do in order to survive. But, frankly, in this situation, it's just like, whatever. We should have a shit ton of hooks by the time I get done with this. Which is great, because that means we can go back home after finding all the stuff that we need. And then sit in a fishing hut for a couple of days and even out our food supply. put my matches away again. You put my matches away again. Why would you do that, Survivor? Why would you do that? I think we're just about out of time for the day. My name is Splattercat. Thank you for stopping on in and saying hello. I appreciate you being my survival homie for the course of the day. I will see you all in tomorrow's episode. Thank you for stopping. Bye. Bye.